Welcome everybody to Milan in Italy. Greece and Italy will face off on game day two in Group C of the Eurobasket in 2022. And we have got a packed house here in the media forum. Both teams came out of day one with a win. And on day two, as the lights go down and we get a look at the schedule, games earlier on as Great Britain were beaten by Croatia, a classic Estonia-Ukraine game that Ukraine just got over the line in the last minute. That leaves us with the group tables looking like this, and only two teams have only played one game, Italy and Greece. The winner will join Ukraine 2-0 and on top of the group. With me is Enya Stewart, the Great Britain and London Lions centre. Do I have to say this is a big game, or do I have to say this is absolutely massive in a full house? Yeah, this is rocking already. We've got about just under eight minutes, and the crowd are here, and that's my favorite part. For me, Dorsey, the 26-year-old Dallas Mavericks, have 27 big, big points. He shot five from nine from the three-point line mark. He was unstoppable, but obviously everyone's here to see the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, boy. He had a highlight play right at the end, really pushed them over the line to beat Croatia. Wow, that was an exciting game also. So, the fans are here to see the Greeks, but we are in Milan. We're in Milan and this Italian crowd was so good yesterday. And now you're going to hear what they think about this lineup coming out. Who are just in such a rich vein of form really are putting out performance after performance in qualifiers for Eurobasket and latterly in the World Cup. And now in front of this packed crowd. I don't know, we talk about how do they start into the combo. How does Greece stop this lineup? Yeah, for sure. I think Melly, 17 points. He shot seven from 12, six rebounds and four big steals. He was solid. He had beautiful footwork under the rim, finishing left and right. And then uh, Fontenji, Io, sorry, is 19 points. Shot 62%. He was five from eight. He shot very, very deep, shooting logo threes as you see him right there, just coming out. And uh, the stars are here. We've got four. I've seen Coach uh, Popovich. He's here. He's a classic goat. And this is full of stars, full of energy, and no doubt going to be the best game of the night. Oh, it's going to be one of the games of the tournament, and we're only on game day two. I mean, this is uh, this is what Eurobasket's all about. Every day, every game is a tough one. We're going to have the opportunity to talk a little bit more about how this one is going to pan out after the national anthems of both countries. So we'll stand for the national anthem, starting with Greece, and then, well, I won't have to tell you, the Italian national anthem will follow the Greek.
mean, you don't have to say a word. The national anthems speak for themselves. Yeah, and that is my favourite national anthem. And they really got up and sang that loud and proud as uh, both teams exchange uh, pendants and flags as they do in national team play. Well, Zaini, like we're going to get a look at uh, the game, third right. team on the floor in the moment, the three referees, and then we can talk a little bit more. Though no, we're going straight to the starting fives. Uh, Polinari, Meli, and Fonteco. That's the problem for me that uh, the Greeks have got to find out. Who, uh, who is Anthony Gombo going to guard, and will they be able to stretch him to the perimeter? Yeah, and I think uh, with Italy shooting so well, a good clip from the three-point line, they're going to stretch that defense. But... Italy have to talk about how they're going to stop Anto the Compo for me I thought was really strong at the end and Dorsey also shot the three very very well. Gianmarco Prosecco the head coach for Italy coaches as he used to play emotionally apart from being a very 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 good coach his ability to um, motivate and inspire his team is unquestionable. Nicola Melli uh, Zania had the game last night one of the key players and the key player that we're identifying before this game. Yeah, for sure. I said he had 17.6 rebounds, but also four big steals. He was solid for Italy. A uh, veteran player, and uh, he'll be who's not. Uh, go ahead. Well, the starting lineup and the match. The, oh, okay, they got the extra size with uh, Giannis Ante the combo, but uh, they're going with the three forwards. Neither team has an out and out five as such. So stretching the floor and being able to cope with that stretch in the floor is going to be crucial. Dimitris Atudis is one of the best. Yeah. You know, Euroleague winner. Now trying to do you know, what every coach would, inspire, would be inspired to do, coach a national team in a Euro basket or a world tournament. This has got, this has got quality written over this. Here, look at Kyra Dorsey, who had a great one. Yeah, Dorsey, for sure, 27 points. He was tough. He lit up the three-point line for me. And uh, five from eight, he's only 26 years old. Young legs in him. And uh, he set the tone for me, for the Greeks, because everyone's worried about uh, Yanis, but really, you've got to guard uh, Dorsey as well. Well, here is the third team on the floor. Mr. Lasso, Mr. Castileo, Mr. Morinovic from France, and Spain and Montenegro. Um, these guys out of the top drawer in terms of officiating and why would they be? T-Cell's countdown to tip off, one minute to go, and I'm just intrigued as to how each coach is going to try to you know, work this one out. Yeah, and if I was Italy and I saw uh, the Greeks only won uh, 89 to 85, and they had that solid line of a zone defense to Croatians, and that slowed down into the compo. Do you do that? Do you kind of borrow that scout, or what do you say? One on one? It'll be interesting to see what their game plan is. Well, there's some, uh, there's some great brains trust of coaches on the sideline that we've just uh, screwed it across. Sandra Agamba, the Hall of Famer, all the way down. Here comes, here comes our chance to get on TV. <laughs> and there we are. Yeah, there's that arm of us. There you go. And we're, we are, I feel privileged to be this close to this game. It's, uh, it's only game two of Eurobasket. It's so long. This is a long and draining tournament. You're not going to win or lose the Eurobasket tonight, but uh, as a team, you're going to go a long way to build in momentum. And that's uh, such an important facet of group play in these types of international competitions. Coach Antunis and Coach Prosecco, both emotional coaches. And in front of a full house, this is going to become a very emotional game. Well, welcome to Milan, wherever you're joining us from. We're privileged to be courtside. This is going to be the game of the day, in my opinion. There's already been some great ones across uh, the championship, but uh, if we're at home facing Greek, both teams have aspirations to medal in this competition. Italy in the blue, Greece in the white, and we're on the way here in Milan. And Greece will take a look at it. Pilatus goes straight to the hook and is blocked. Good positive play by Nick Galatis, went strong to the basket, but uh, Fontecchio gets a piece and says, you're not having that, then not this early. Yeah, nothing easy, but good drive by uh, Nick Galatis. Got to get the ball in. It shouldn't be that hard, as Anthony Combo just uh, sticks the arm out, going baseline, in traffic. Oh! Starts early, dunks on Melly's head, drives baseline. 
They had three guys come help. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He just took off three three. Statement of intent. No one's going to keep him on the perimeter tonight. And that's Danut on the floor. Little mishandle. Loses it. Recovered. They're going to go back to front. And Greece, as you can see, yeah. are up for this. And Thanasis, uh, for me, always tough defender. He started in the first half and didn't have many minutes in the second in uh, the Croatian game. That was coach's decision, but boy, he comes with the intensity for me. Well, these teams have played each other 12 times in Eurobasket competition. Anthony Combo is going to pick up the person as he went through. The Italians are looking in to say, well, why not the charge? We're going to get the reach on the first part of the drive. As he spins, there's the foul. Yeah, two slap downs. Yes, Pisu um, came across and slap down. Yeah, it's him. But yeah, Hunt, that's a foul. Yeah. And, uh, and that is uh, Antti Kumpo's classic go-to spin move, doesn't he? It really creates space uh, as he makes that drive. Well, last night, Croatia did. You know, made him think about him a little bit and he decided to settle for the jumper. Well, that's not happening. First time baseline penetration gets the dunk, second time draws contact, goes to the foul line. There's no way they're going to have to put a wall in front of him. Yeah, to stop him getting and I spoke about the uh, defensive plan from Croatia and clearly Italy have said, OK, we're one on one, we can handle it. But no, you can't. That's a lot of uh, strong muscle there. That is the Greek freak for a reason. So Greece start 4-0, everything going hard to the ring. And as we've said before, and as Italy have demonstrated in the both Eurobasket and World Cup qualifiers, they are going to run their tempo, get the shots they want. Tecio puts it on the floor, opens up down the lane, goes up, drops it off. Great decision. That's a decision and a half. He had everybody in the air. Great penetration, help was late, and Italy took it over. Into the combo, fills the double team. Now they've got him on the perimeter, gives it up. Kalafis, extra pass. They line up the three. And Pesu, and uh, that time Polinara, fouling the jump shooter. One of those golden rules. You just don't foul the jump shooter. Yeah, and he just hits uh, the Nasus hand here. Yep, he doesn't follow through. Um, I had breakfast this morning with some Greeks, and I told them that I called him uh, Thanos from. Uh, you know who Thanos is? Go on. Oh, I do, yes. It's the one of those uh, characters in yeah. uh, the Marvel film. And I was really embarrassed, but a Greek lady said, you know what, that's like a nickname. It's like you calling me Z. It's okay to call him Thanos, but okay. yeah. But does he have five diamonds like him? I don't know. He may be worth five diamonds for this team. There though. he is. He does the lot of that blue, as I always say, the blue color stuff that sometimes goes a bit unnoticed, especially with the stars on this team. This is the first on the free throw line. And gets the second. Italy with the two quick team fouls. That's not going to be a stat they're going to be very pleased about. Yep, but the uh, second Antetokounmpo brother, there's three of them. There is four in, in total, but three on this team. Pesu. Pesu in the half court. Tetio puts it on the floor. Again, tempo. This is very much how the Italians want to play. They take them off their line. Moving off of Holland. Oh. oh. Really? Super, super yeah. move. Yeah, super move. And Italy are just using their time, patience, experience, weight, and a really nice finish underneath the paint. That's what it means when you're an emotional head coach. You're playing every play with your team. Polinara, chance for the three-point play. Italy, this is interesting, you know, 33 points on average, points in the plate for them. But that's not going in up, going in the uh, ring protection that uh, Greek, Greece are going to put on the floor. Greece only averaging 20 points in the yeah. in the paint. So and, and points per game, Greece is 81 and Italy is 85. Italy's ranked 10th in the FIBA world ranking at ninth, and that's the uh, their own Milan uh, Euroleague player there on your screen. You got the commissioner and the official just making sure they get the right. Uh, 
Yeah, they just wanted to make that sure that uh, Marco's foul was recorded in the right way. Okay. That would be his uh, second foul, or first foul for him. Just one for him, one for Polinara. Who completes the three-point play. Kalathis into the half court. Dorsey gets his first touch of the basketball. And Italy will switch everything. Kalathis thinks about the three, gets down the middle, puts up the little push shot. But the touch deserts him. He doesn't get the drop. And Pisu in the half court. And they hit the second side early. And they have to pull is going to stretch the defense. Meli gets it in the post. Inside out. Teccio puts up the three. Took him out of rhythm by making him think about the shot. And Greece with a chance to run. Dorsey, Dorsey makes it. Knocks it down for three. Well, he uh, started exactly where he left off from uh, yesterday's game. And I'm sure that was in the scout, Italy. But Antti de Kumbo was the assist man there again. And that's that's when they become really tough. Tanut to the middle, drops it off to Polinara with a left-hand hook, doesn't get it to go. Antti Kumbo leads the break, he has numbers. I don't think he's going to need anybody. Goes up, they're going to call that offensive. And Melli put his body on the line. And that's good defense by Melli. Really right race back to get in front of Antti Kumbo here. Stays in front, gets the hit in his chest. And good, solid defense by Melli. That defensive transition by Italy, impressive again, both Fontecchio and uh, Fonteco and uh, Kess, Pissou and Melli all got back. You've got to put bodies in the lane, and that's exactly what they did. 9-5, Greece have the early lead. But Italy in the half court, at their tempo. Melli, good answer the combo. Drops it inside, Melli, little foul line jump shot, high arcing, little two-pointer, doesn't get the drop. Nikolathis leads the break. Open for three, Papa Nikolaou is off. Well, the stars are out in Milan. This is the place to be, the hottest ticket in Milan tonight. Sure is. Right here. Yeah, sold out, not a seat. Empty in here. Pesu. Tecio puts it on the floor, opens up, stops, pops, knocks. I thought it knocked it down, gets the back of the ring. Dawson needs the break. Anthony Kumbo on the foul line, skips it. Open three is no good. Melly comes down with a defensive rebound. Pesu all the way, just opened up. Oh! Has to be a foul. And Has to be a foul. And uh, Thanasis is saying no, no, no. But Thanasis, you landed on him. Let's see this. Jumps. Yeah. Actually, no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he, has, he has to be the foul because he, he, he had nowhere to go. Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't be shots, though, because he was part, clearly passing the ball off. But they've given him shots. Was he passing it off because he was protecting himself? Who knows? And I think uh, Papa Nicolau quite, I think quite rightly saying, well, he was passing it off. He may have been in the air. It may be a foul, may not be a foul. Look, he's brought the ball down. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> I love the NASA says, no, 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 not a foul. But he does land in his own space. Yeah, that's right. Um, There's no debate, it's a foul. Everyone's, I think Nick Calapas is having the same conversation. Marco Pisu. Looked like he was going to pass that off. He sort of bowed out of the shot when, when it got very dark. As, the, as the, <laughs> he was going to end up with someone yeah. landing on top of him, makes the first, and goes two for two from the line. And pretty much, see, this is um, how you'd expect the game to shape out. You know, Italy want to slow it down to an extent, but be very efficient. Greek really being more the aggressor. And this goes to work, gets to the far side of the ring. And here, yep. you want to bring that in here, you've got to bring something stronger. Yeah, not in, not in this house, honey. You're in Milan, Italy. The Nassas, you better go stronger than that. You cannot put that on the plate for Fontecchio to just whack that out. 
Polinara makes sure he knows about it too. That's, uh, that's a great uh, Fontecchio. Uh, comes up with two blocks. Because he got the first one on Calapas. Nick Calapas outside. Looks to see what action he has. Going to have to put up the long three. Is long and didn't want to shoot it. Yeah, but he was looking for almost any other option. Pessy. Polinara will face up. And he puts it on the floor. The baseline opens, but he's not going to be... Oh, great pass. Nicola Melli on the inside. Polinara. They're going to have to shoot something. Seconds on the clock. Well, they throw up the prayer at the end. And that's what intimidation does, right? <laughs> yeah, they about three different players second guess. Melly had a good wide open uh, layup right under it, and then he saw Ante de Kumpo and thought, well, maybe not today. I'll pass it out. And everyone did that. And good defensive stop by the Greeks. Nick Kalathis will get Greece into the half court. Dorsey comes off the big screen, gets a little separation, and has got guarded by Polinara. They'll offer that corner three, and that's short. Polinara, that's who leads them. Um, got numbers. Break, wide open. Nicola Melli for three is short, but the contest on the glass means Italy retain possession. And that's the type of transition basketball that Italy want to play. Get defeats there, almost the options where the defense is flattened out. And Nicola Melli will be disappointed he didn't make full use of the open look. Yeah. Real high arcing shot there, but Greek bring down the ball. Into the combo, rattles it and drops it. Ripped one in and out, that's definitely an uh, aspect to his game that he's added is the three-point shot and also the free throw shooting. Belly, same spot, gives it up, it's Pisu. Melly wants it in the block. They got him on the movement of the ball. Polinara for three is off. And it, right here and now, if they're the shots Italy have to make if they're going to get the win here. Enter the combo. That's a blocking foul. And i uh, got to say, I agree 100%. That time he changed direction, goes across the floor. So you see Melly going sideways. Yeah. But man, he is getting hard for Yanis to score they are doing a good job Italy getting back building that wall and but he's still managing to uh, barrel his way in and cause fouls and uh, it's an out of bounds play for the Greeks Agravanis checks in Agravanis was superb yesterday one of the yeah, difference was. makers in that uh, in stopping Croatia's comeback get a lot of credit from coach Tudis in the press conference Dorsey steps in, goes inside, ball can't be handled. And they're going to call Tonut for the push. And you know what? I haven't seen it, but I, it, there's no way Agravanis drops that pass unless he's given a little contact. And yeah, you see the, the arm being raised into the back, just put him off balance a little. So he had to establish the arm bar, he established the hard bar and push. Yeah, and I like uh, number one, the stuff did. Manion for Italy, I think he's such a spark off the bench, isn't he, Mark? Oh, Nicolo Manion is uh, one of those young guys who has no fear. When he gets going, he won't stop. Papa Nicolau is the release out of bounds. Nicolatus out top. They're going to gap him and offer it. Gets it to the wing. Papa Nicolau buys the foul. <laughs> Take a look. Yeah, this. Um, let's just say minimal contact. Right. And I think the referees are going to try and sit on this game initially, just to try and make sure it's a, it's a basketball game, not a not a battle. Yeah, but you have to adjust as players. You know, you, you have to see how the referees are calling it. They're obviously a squad and a team, and they've spoken about how they want to play, or even just. You know, as the game goes along, it's it's a game of runs and different momentum swings, so you have to be versatile, I guess, or ready for those momentum. Uzi Batomi checks in. Averaging 11 points across qualifiers and now playing his basketball here in Milan. This is home for him.
passes Papa Nicolau on the free throw line. This is this the first, but makes the second. And Italy won't be too worried here. They're getting shots that you'd, they'd want to get. They're getting open looks. They just haven't managed to make those plays. Shots like that from the corner. Ricci gets his own rebound, puts it up, and blows it. And you know the thought in the head must be who's coming to block. Yeah. Because that's just a simple little bunny that he Yeah, gets. he didn't need to rush that. Absolutely not. Nicolafus in Calafas time just steadies the ship. Dorsey from deep. Oh! Now, Dorsey, you do not want to let that man heat up, boy. He loves it. And that's exactly what he did yesterday. But this is even better. Comes off of the screen, sets his feet, is contested, and drains it. But again, you know, you saw them as they take the time out. And then we'll get a chance to listen to what Coach Prosecco says. But just a little late on the show. If you're going to switch, I'll go over and get there because he doesn't need more than the moment to get set. Let's take a listen. Se fanno cambio così, hai slippa dentro, magari dobbiamo fare il nostro. Ok. Adesso andiamo da da Massimo Spagna. Massimo Spagna. with the seven points, two from two from the field, three rebounds, one assist, he's already filling up his stat line. But I like the one assist because he saw the open Dorsey next to him, just gave it up, no Yeah, and he's not afraid of that. He understands that he's going to draw the defense. Some, at moments, two to three, four defensive players, and he does give that up. He is very, very good at that. So Italy coming out of the timeout, 3.48 to go in one. We just would love to get a clean look. That's a little bit easier said by me sitting here than it is achieved by them on the floor. But Kalafas guarding Datomi, when they switch it. Tetsio backs Kalafas inside, goes with a little baby hook, gets his own rebound, powers back up for two. Good second effort by Italy, they're really outworking. Uh, Greece there on the paint, and they cut the lead back in. Into the combo on the perimeter. Melly wants to protect it, gets help. And they'll rotate away from Kalafas on the perimeter. It goes with a reverse layup, but you can't let him break you down because he finishes around the ring as well as any guard in world basketball. That's nice, that little hezzy, just to give that separation and uses the rim to protect himself. Italy already back to the third side. They've moved the ball already. Melly looks underneath, the pass finds Litchi, wraps it. Fontecchio with a three is off. And they've had wide open looks. Polinara, Fontecchio and uh, Melly. And it's the game that Italy want, and it's the game that has been successful. They just haven't made any of those at the moment. Yeah, they're zero from five from the three-point line. Anthony Kumbo is long with a three. It's a battle on the glass, and I think the ball will go back to Italy. Both teams working pretty hard down there for those uh, for those rebounds, bodies hitting each other, hitting the floor. It's going to be a physical, long game. We're only in the first quarter here. Absolutely. And still two and a half minutes to go on that loop. Uh, Slukas, Costa Slukas checks into the game. And there's just there's no drop in level in the backcourt. That three-player rotation with Slukas, Galathus and Dorsey. Yeah, obviously, nice little... Yeah, Dorsey's obviously the big-time scorer, but... You can't get more of an experienced backcourt than Slukas and Galathus in Europe. Mannion has a look at his options down low. Uchi. Datomi, feet set. There it, is. It. there it is as he points to his loved ones. Feet set, like you said, behind the arc. They finally hit one, exactly what the Italians need. Yeah, Coach Prosecco called the, uh, the down play for them, the little staggered screen to come back to the ball. Here's Dorsey, quick gets his feet set. Whoa. He's in a rhythm. Yeah, he is. And, uh, apart from just chasing him and almost doing things you might not fundamentally want to do, I don't really know how you guard him at the moment. Big-time play by Agravanis. 
And they have numbers, they have five on four, but they... Ball seat needs a pass, and made it five on five, with Fontecchio looks down the floor. Mannion open for three, got it! Crowd goes wild and off their feet. Whoa, that was a tale of events right there. Good. Yeah, good. Transition, they kept balanced, didn't really rush it. Man, he gets his feet set, knocks it down, and if he gets going from the perimeter, all things are good for Italy. Yeah, the, the Italians just have to slow down. Dawson is still here. And that's all. Mannion is Fonteco throws it down on the break, but off the ball, Mannion just shot the passing lane off. Watch this. Into the lane, no pass. Stolen by Fonteco, above the ring, throws it down. Yeah. Italy have their own NBA star. He'll be going to the uh, Utah Jazz and uh, is playing solid. He was fantastic. He says, come on, crowd, get into it, and they sure do. Well, Pozzetto's going to give both uh, po uh, Manny and uh, Fontecchio uh, this minute or so plus the quarter break. Yeah, and solid minutes from them, and he cuts that uh, lead down to four now. Atomi's impact, you know, he was the one that came off the down screens, he got his feet set. You only have to see one to drop to know you're going to make yours. So Dorsey clears it out, thinks, wants to know, he knows he can handle this, gets the high screen from Agravanis. Dorsey, step back, fires it. That one, great defense by Toulouse. Didn't really had his hand up the whole time, always above the eye line, Mannion. Little pick and pop action, Richie Mannion has it blocked. Should be an easy two. And it's for Agravanis. As we said when he came on, he works hard. his work rate yep. defensively is phenomenal. And he gets rewarded there with the breakaway layup flush. Back to a six point game. There's, there's around a three, four second differential between game and possession clock. Nikola Mannion will get the ball swirly. Ooh. Fake screen, that's only off the dribble, really ties it up. Richie's gonna have to put it up. Mannion fires it up, but late. And they got lost. As soon as that time we put it on the floor with nowhere to go, they got lost. And Greece have 4.3 seconds to try and get something to end the quarter on a high. They lead by six. Slukas has it. It's a ball screen. That's not gonna count. They didn't have that long. All the decisions were good, apart from the one with the clock. That's been a, a massive first quarter by both teams. Intriguing. Both teams really did feel each other out, clearly after the light came on on the basket. But uh, one of those early rounds in the boxing competition. Two P2 fighters feeling each other out leaves Greece at a 23 to 17 advantage at the end of one. Oh, it's definitely what we wanted here. Uh, Three-point shot not really working for Italy right now, shooting 25%, two from eight. And uh, Dorsey, for me, you know he's hot, ready to shoot at all times. So Italy just need to make sure they find him. As we see some of the fans there, they brought their flags, and we get to see the first quarter best place. Well, we know where this is going to start. Literally drew three and still went up. You know, there's no way of containing him when he gets that half a step on you. Yeah, we spoke about this, right? Do you let Giannis always, he's going to get his 20, 30, 40, but can you stop others? Yesterday, Dorsey went off uh, for 20 plus points. Um, so this is an exciting game. It's exactly what you want. This is primetime TV, primetime game. Everyone's filled the arena and both teams have come to play. I think the key, as you said, about the three-point shooting for Italy, there's not been a bad three, though, apart from the prayer at the end there by, uh, by Mannion, where they went out of time. But you've got guys who will make those shots. All that, by missing one, all it means is the next one's more likely to go down because their, their percentages mean they will make those shots. So, you know, Coach Adudas is not going to really be looking at the makes and the misses. He's going to be looking at the type of shots they've given up. There's the court side, 1891. And all the action, not just from Eurobasket here, but from around the world on, in the basketball tournaments, leagues, everything. Download it, purchase the app, get the application, watch the games, everything's available on one place. As it's on your smartphone, take it wherever you go. Start off quarter two. 
and the boys in blue from Italy will have the first possession. The play that they got D'Antoni open. Keep it. Got a whistle, the clock Stop. didn't move. Two seconds and we've still got 24. Normally those those two things are synced, aren't they? You don't have to start them separately, so... What, what don't the referee hit the uh, clock no, behind no. their back as well? They've got a little button. Can they do that? Yeah. That's interesting. You didn't, I didn't know that? No, well, I didn't, I didn't. It's almost like I heard it, then forgot it. But Tanuki covers it. Polinara in the post, inside, outside. Oh, Everybody in a blue shirt can take the three. Everybody in the blue shirt believes they'll knock it down if they're open. And that's the magic formula for me, Mark. Go inside, kick it back out. That's when you shoot your three-point shot, and that's when you're open. Custis Lucas couldn't turn the corner. Agravanis moves it on. Head through, nowhere to go. Deep in the clock now, five on the possession. Custis Lucas going to have to create a little separation. Oh, my word! Oh! I thought the... I thought they had a hand on that shot, and Costa Lucas just drilled it. Nicolò Mannion, got to answer that. Tommy reverses it. Ricci having made the last one, that one's off. And the ball will stay with Italy. Anthony Kumbo's going to rejoin the action. And the shape of the game changes, but making the three becomes even more important, right? He takes... Uh, Places uh, Abianis, Atomi in the corner, 10 on the shot clock. Nicolò Magnin, still only 21 years old. Tries to get a little separation in the lane. Big block, give me that. Could have been a foul, but they've let the ball play. And they're going to call it offensive. Agravanis is not a happy man at all. You've got to be under control. That's the, bo the bottom line is you've got to be under control. Smart play. That's Toby. Yep, gets in the way. He's got those knee pads on for a reason. Exactly. He's 34 now, that Toby. And you, you can see the experience just coming out of the play. As opposed to Nicola Mannion with the penetration into a lot of white shirts. Yeah. Dribble doesn't really hurt the Greeks defensively. They know where it is. Mannion doesn't really break it down enough. What they've got to do is move the ball off action. Great pass. That is a pass. Beautiful. Really lovely backdoor by Tanut and finishes on the opposite side. Wow. Super, super fast. Great movement. As we say, dribble doesn't hurt the Greeks defensively. They can deal with the dribble. They move the ball, they're going to create open. Kalafas to the hoop and to the combo. Watch out. Lightweight on the glass at the moment. Ricci's got to work hard. Any of you who are watching earlier on, he's almost got an Estonian attitude on the glass. Yeah, That's the only does. way he's going to compete. Nico Mannion stops, pops, rims it in and out. And Agravanis just keeps working. A lot of shots are rimming in and out. Yeah. Do you know why? It's because they're brand new rims and they need to be dunked on some more. So. Well, they're going to be dunked on tonight. Though. Yep, Yanis has to come for. We need a few more of those. And to the combo at the foul line, pass down to Kalathis, wide open from the perimeter. Agravanis with his feet set. Yes. And it may look a little awkward, it may look a little unorthodox. Yeah. Uh, hey. It works. Who cares? Yeah, he shoots a good clip from three point line. Absolutely. Nine. When his feet are set, he's as good as anybody. Well, that was smart. It was wide open. Yep. Yet again, the magic formula goes in and comes back out. Here comes Italy. Polinara beats up for three, drops it for three. Okay, so we're getting into a three-point competition right now, eh? Great adjustment by Greece defensively. They, they, they staggered against the Tommy Open. They've just taken it away. One, one get beat one, don't get beat again. Agravanis down the middle, drops it off to Kalapis. He's fouled by Datomi, who got drawn on the help. The decision by Agravanis again, the timing of the pass. Uh, it's, it's just a joy, it's a joy to watch. Yeah, good minutes by him, he'll take the seat. Nicola Melli's going to step back in. Ricci, same thing. Quality minutes for his team. Really good minutes. And uh, Melli will come back in. He's solid for the Italians. He's had his break. And he's back. 31 25, 6.50 to go in the half. Nicola is outside, goes inside. 
from Anthony Kumba. He doesn't get the jump at the work, but he does not stop working. Gets it at the second attempt. You've just got to give up your body. Yeah, you've really got, as soon as that shot goes up, really, you need to be old school and box him out. Yeah. You can't jump with him. No, not at all. It opens up for Mannion. That's only going to be one result. So he's gone twice to the keyway with traffic, no ball movement, helps establish. The first time he just ran into a lot of white shirts. And now Anthony Combo's back in the game. Yeah, that's easy for him. You only need one white shirt if it's his clean block. Italy with uh, nine seconds on the possessions. Tonut steps back, strokes the three, doesn't get it to roll. Another one that rattles. Big rebound there. And here comes Anthony Combo on fast break and finger rolls it right to the rim. Beautiful finish, Italy, timeout. They want to stop the bleeding. Yeah, unstoppable. When you get to it, it gets that deep, unstoppable. Timeout, Coach Pisecco wants to talk about it again. Last time in the first uh, quarter, the timeout did stop the bleeding. I bet you with the defensive work on the glass. If you let him get that first step going, don't put your body in the way. He's scoring. Yeah, and the replay is is just as good as the first action. Italy need this timeout, good timeout, let's listen in. Gigi, Akeni. Oh, non dobbiamo aver fretta. Non dobbiamo aver fretta. Dobbiamo eseguire, Marco. Dobbiamo eseguire. Dobbiamo eseguire il gioco. E tornare in difesa. Ok? Well, Marco Sipisu is uh, going to check back in, I think. That was uh, one of the things we got from that timeout before they cut away from it. Uh, Coach Maseko, voice is uh, struggling a little bit. He's been uh, obviously shouting a lot, not surprising. Trying to make himself heard over this uh, unbelievable crowd. Yeah, he needs some... Uh Warm water and a bit of honey. Yeah. Soothe the uh, vocal cords, that's what I've been on. Get him a, get him a lozenge jacket. <laughs> We've been doing three games a day, you do lose your voice, or if you're coach, you screaming and shouting, it is very, very loud in here. Well, wherever you're watching this from, you can only hope you can feel this atmosphere that we're feeling right here. And right now it's the Greeks out doing the Italians in the building. Beautiful atmosphere in here, Mark. Well, Marco Sipisu is back in the game. Ten-point game. They've been here before already in this game. Italy work the ball, spend their time with it, find the open man, make the open shot. They told me a lot of contact, a lot of help. Great rotation defensively. The tough step back three is off. And Anthony Combo just cleans house on the man. glass. It's like he just climbs the ladder and goes right up, doesn't he? Stops, pops the three, rims out that end as well. Italy in transition. The Greeks' defense is just in, is so impressive. Kalathis of the anti combo assist. They've got a 12 point lead. Really nice uh, press there by Anti de Kumpo. Turns over the Italians real quick. Italy needs to be careful here, Mark. Well, nice pass and one. Nicolò Nelly, beautiful cut, beautiful cut. Again, pass is really what hurts the Greeks. If you pass the basketball, you are moving them around. Pometsu picks up the personal. But the issue for Italy is two things. You know, if you're missing those open shots, one, obviously, you're not ticking it over. Right. But they're gone. You know, they'll right. get the defensive rebound. They're gone. The Panting Gumbo gets it and pushes. You know, it's like, so the tempo of the game is set by how effectively Italy are offensively, which is... To an extent, how Croatia, 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 Croatia got, you, got, got back in the game yesterday. They made shots, yeah. and uh, that slowed down this Greek team and forces them into the half court. And I love that. The Greeks are gone if you don't stop them. Exactly. It's Lucas and uh, Kalafas in the backcourt. Enter the combo with the ball screen for Kalafas. Papa Nikolaou just moved, saw the ball, can't get the three to go. So Pisu is uh, on the break, gives it up. Polinara. Italy will space the floor. Polinara puts it on the floor, and Papa Nicolau takes one for the team. And yep. it's, it's one of those fouls now, are you saying, you know, you're, you're entitled to one of those quarter. You know, the team's at a disadvantage, because if he goes baseline and he hasn't heard there's help, he's got he's to have a stealing off foul right there. 
and he does it in a way not to create a problem. Fotetio gets it up to Polinaro, who's just found his rhythm now, and they needed that one badly. Yeah, Polinaro shot a very good clip yesterday. He gets the crowd into it. That was a fantastic shot, and we have the perfect line right behind him, drilled that. And uh, exactly what the Italians need to get themselves back into this game. It's a 10 point game. That's a seven point game. The graphic on the screen hasn't uh, adjusted. And the thing I one of the, it's, it's a, the one of the many things that Coach Atunas always impresses me about. He never lets he get too far, yeah. yeah I mean, it's not the scoring, it's what happens out there. He doesn't like you know, the way that Italy have moved the ball and have got an open look. And they do that a couple of times down the floor. He's timing out. That's not what we said we would do, guys. Yeah. You know? But he kept that intensity and he keeps that um, on them even in practice. A couple of days ago, obviously, we've been here before the tournament started. I got the privilege to watch their practice and he was on them, Mark. He said, hey, this isn't good enough. It was just, it was barely, I think, the first drill out of warm up. You don't even get mad at me like that. It takes me about 15 minutes to warm these knees up. That's true. That's why I did it in the 16th minute. <laughs> Yeah, he's on a, the intensity level and what he holds them accountable is very, very high, and I love it. Well, oh, there's the percentages. Greece with 50% from the floor and 43% from the three. And they've got Anthony Kumbo on the inside. So that's right. tough, really. The fact, they're only down seven, having missed a lot of open looks, which is what they're getting for. You know, of course, Prosecco just needs his guys to make the shots he's confident they're going to make. And then he's... The Tudors didn't like it. I'm taking the time out. I don't want that to happen. Black is really burst of speed down the floor. Slukas will take the ball screen from Anthony Combo. Palathas goes through, takes the tough one. Defense was excellent. And here come Italy. Off to the races. Sultici goes up. Tough finish. That may get him going. Unsung athlete. At times people don't respect his athleticism. Really athletic move to the hoop. Five point game. Yeah, and the Italians want the fans to get involved on this defensive possession here. Slukas with a layup, can't get it to go. And there's a pushing foul, and Slukas is looking around and saying, hey, here's a replay of that one. And you've got to recognize, if Anthony Kumbo is like looking to help to the wing, then you can go. Yeah. You see what the help looks like. Slukas gets to the ring, now gets to the line. Six with 4 and 3 to go in the half. Costa Sukas on the free throw line. He's 32 now, Costa Sukas. He's just had a, he's had a career, he's not done yet. I think we look better against his trophy cabinet than the Eurobasi gold medal. He's only 32. He's been around for a long time, he'll be 32. Wow. Well, if he's been around for a long time, what have I been then? He's I'm, younger than me. I know, I know, but... I'm fine wine now, Mark. I know. Here we go. Nicola Melli brings it. Opens up for him, inside out. Polinaro lines it up and turns it down. The Tommy is short. The Tommy mid-range jump shot will make that. Without work, your opponent, good things happen. Yeah, and Italy are doing a great job of getting extra possessions. And Greece are such an object, goes without saying, a different team without Anthony Combo in the game in terms of Italy's options on the glass. Perpetu goes to work on the inside, looks to back down, leans away for the two, doesn't get it to go. Pesu gets it, looks to push. Don't need to rush. Tries to turn the corner, gives it up. But Tommy has had a real bit, really big influence. Nice pass, Nicola Melli inside, fights for position, and frustratingly for him, can't finish the play. Tapisu thinks there was contact, nice pass, Papa Nicola for two. And they stop the game because, uh... There's, 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 yeah, there's yeah, they, sweat on the Yeah, they too. fell and just, obviously it's a lot of people, 12,000 did you say? 12,700. 12,700 including us two, that's a lot of hot 
sweat, breath, and whatever you want to say. In addition to us too. In addition to us too. And the lads are working very difficult. So they just take that moment, clean up the floor, safety first. Into the half court, Luigi Datomo. Tetchio off the stagger. Just can't get that three to go. Just that little, the way that Greece chase him just takes him out of rhythm. Dorsey back in the game. He spent a fair amount of time sitting down. A little hesitation. Steps back. Extra pass. Kalathas. And it goes to Kalathas. It'll stick. Doesn't want to take the spot up. He's blocked. 2.6 on the clock. They throw up the prayer. Almost gets it to drop. Tetchio leads the break. Numbers down the floor. The open three is short. On the glass is Polinari. He's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. And again, outwork your opponent. Numbers down the floor for it. The three is a reasonable decision, especially when you got the ball coverage. Yeah, and they're getting, they're really beating. When Anthony Pupo, Yanis, excuse me, is out of the game, uh, they're really cleaning up on the board. They're giving themselves chances to stick around and stay around. And as we've seen earlier, Ukraine was losing that game against Estonia and they just stuck around by getting extra possessions. And in the end, they won the game. Well, Polinara has been good from the three-point line. One of the few Italians to find his rhythm from there. Now goes to the free throw line. The Italians have uh, 19 rebounds and seven offensive rebounds to the Greeks. Five. The Greeks have been making a lot of shots, obviously, but uh, you can't be, you can't win games losing losing the ball battle. Dorsey stops, pops, and that's why there's no rebound. Wow. <laughs> he said, man, I'm on fire. Man, I'm on fire. I'm really enjoying Dorsey has come to play. Cliche stuff, you know, call someone to get some water on that hand of his. Four or five. Melly down Melly low. Fouled, yeah. And uh, the referee was waiting for him to go to work to get to the hoop because he didn't want to call the foul to send him to the end line, but... Uh... Yeah, Vanessa says, hey, yep, good call referee, and overall these referees have been fantastic. I think they've used all their abilities to be as a crew. They have all three of them. They've spoken about any players that they are concerned about. They've come together, and if not, they've got the uh, instant replay to go double-check. This who steps uh, off as uh, Ayola checks in, as does uh, Tunut, comes back. Melly makes the first from the free throw line. The Greek percentages, as you'd expect them to be, are high. They're just they're so effective and efficient with the shots they get. Melly makes both. Six point game, six points personal for Nicolò Melli, two for three from the free throw line. Nicolatis. Nicolatis for me is just so smart, intelligent, really nobody rushes him. He is a great, fine point guard, really a general out there as he uh, calls the foul. That's, uh, not sure, unless Paiola's, Paiola's been told to yeah, go in there and try. be annoying and be yeah. under him. Yeah. There was no reason for them to really get after him. Nicolás is not turning it over on the dribble. Nor is Tyler Dawson. Little hesitation. Polinara, oh, got suckered into going at it. Comes up short. Chance to run. But uh, Paiola says, no, nope. let's get into the half court. Tunut, guarded by Dawson, didn't get the pass. Melly puts it on the floor, he's fouled. And many will go back to the free throw line. And Polinara, I have every single, I have every sympathy with the request for the unsportsmanlike because you tell me what this is. It comes down because he took the ball fake and then grabbed him. Yeah, and no play at the ball. No, no play at the ball. But I don't think the officials are going to review it because their view of the world will be on that. He came down and. Uh, sort of made a play for the ball, because that's the only thing they can say to stop them reviewing it. Is 
him, it's not going to be unsportsmanlike. If I take that ball fake and think, hey, if I don't foul him now, he's at the ring. Right. I'll take the foul. Yeah, I don't need to uh, give them free. Although they're in the penalty anyway, so they're going to go and shoot two. But the possession is a big deal. target players, uh, Coach Atudas, if we can hear him. Well, the bit that I did hear about that timeout is if we want to target players uh, so clearly uh, their mismatch, especially Dorsey right here, is just lighting it up and he's probably one of the players that he's talking about. Hey, if you like a mismatch that's out there and you can get your shot up, then we'll go for it. Um, I'm feeling it. I love it. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure there's not a matchup that uh, Dorsey, Dorsey doesn't, doesn't like. Because like. yeah. he's shooting the ball. It doesn't matter if they go bigger because he's had Polinara and Melly switch out to him. And they've played hands up, so it's, you know, it's going to have to They're above the eye line, but uh, Dorsey has 12. Four from six from three and two rebounds. And it's like, you're guarding him. What, can you, what else can you do? Yeah, and he had five from nine yesterday, so right on target. Yeah. But Melly makes his way back to the line. Solid. He was uh, really good for Italy yesterday. One of their top scorers with 17. And he always finds his way somehow around that rim to finish and also at the line. Makes the first. Yeah, he's not the guy you want to foul if, uh, if uh, Coach Atutis can choose. Melly is uh, one of the best free throw shoes on this Italian team goes two for two again just over a minute to go Italy have pulled it back to a four point game don't forget they were down 12 at one point but they've just been relentless in how they play the game Tanu all over Dorsey now he's going to chase him going to try and get him to take a shot off balance and only gets it now they haven't got long seven seconds Kalafis kicks extra pass oh they've rotated away from Dorsey Dodge the bullet, but Greece are going to get the rebound. And to the combo. Thinks about it, gets inside, goes with a jump, hook for two. You just got to finish the play. And uh, technical foul. So probably not what you want, but he's angry. Look at this. Yanis hits uh, Melly square in the chest. I don't know what you're really mad about. What do you want, an offensive foul? Because that's. I think they wanted to travel. Oh. They made contact and uh, they, they say he shuffled. Now in the NBA, there's a line that he never shuffles because he's who he is, and that's. Uh, but, uh, well, clearly he's a good dancer as well as a basketball player. He's got the electric slide, and they're gonna, not going to call it. But Italy have picked up a technical foul here. Yeah, it's just a single technical. They shoot it, and Italy will come the ball back. So. I do think that the balance of that, uh, the, pe the penalty for that is about right now. It used to be lost possession as well as everything else, but one shot doesn't help. It was a four-point game, it goes back out to seven, and they don't really, they don't really have to work to get to seven. This is Papa Nicolau checks back in. Now we've got the uh, water polo hats, we've got the headbands, everything in the crowd. And a whole lot of Greek A Greek. whole lot of Greek freak t-shirts. Yeah, I love that. Centre court. Payola puts it on the floor. Now, Payola club-wise is just instant offence, but uh, it's it into the half court. Somehow, somehow, Tunut is the man who comes up with the offensive rebound. Again, they outwork. Payola with a nine on the possession. There's a five-second differential between the game and the possession clock. Payola drops it inside, and that's not the option. Foul on Paola mid-court. That'll be at least 14 fouls, so the ball just be on the sideline. Well, I've, I've got to say, see, there's been a number of stop-the-break fouls, which I thought we were supposed to be... Um, because look at the highlights you're missing. The crowd aren't here to see free throws. The crowd are here. Greece off their defence, in transition, are exciting as hell. And if they go in the other way, I've got shooters you can spot up and just fill it up. Yeah. Instead, we're on the sideline. Well, there's uh, 5.8 seconds. Let's see what they get here. Italy break it up. Ayola stops, pops, got it away, but didn't get it to drop. And we've reached the half. Okay, it's a seven-point advantage. But this is 
poised nicely because his Italy's percentage is way below where you'd expect him to be. And there's confirmation at the half time. Greece with the 47 to 40 scoreline, game at the highest level with all the intensity you need. Super first half. Gonna get a look at the stats here. Well, where do we even start? The 28% from the three point line isn't really helping Italy. Uh, both teams being aggressive, getting to the free throw line. Italy, 21 rebounds to Greece is 23, which isn't, you know, that bad considering you've got uh, Yanis Antetokounmpo also leading all scorers with 15. We do have ourselves a game. Italy have done a very good job. Do you know why they've done uh, a fantastic job in giving themselves second opportunities around the rim? And like I said earlier, if you give yourself a chance and stick around, you have a an opportunity to win and these uh, are the first half highlights yeah and it's going to be the first outside you see you'd expect you're going to see it be making threes yeah but like it's the threes they've missed at the difference uh, there 28 percent from the three-point line is uh and it, from the greek perspective even slukas is three where he had no time on the clock lent away and put it up even that drop so the three-point line has been the friend for Greece in that first half yet it's still only a seven point game so let's not get too worried about it for uh for Italy all they need is one run and the whole crowd's going to be ignited but uh got to make the comments about Agravanis every team should have one yeah and Agravanis really does the work and also yeah we've spoken about his funny looking shot but man it goes in and you know what he spreads the floor and especially when he plays with Yanis when he can drive and kick and he has that option as they kind of play the four five whatever you want to call them uh, really good good action uh, Italy had Meli Meli was um, very good He's, he knows what he what he wants, where he's uh, successful at, and he puts himself in there many times. Well, and the, you know, Polinara found some rhythm. Melly found his on the free throw line. The only guy that's really been missing it at the height in terms of the level you expect him to play is Montecchio. Montecchio. Yeah. He's like yesterday. He's like the player, absolutely the player. And the difference you could argue is that Dorsey was on fire yesterday. He's still here. Montecchio at the moment hasn't made the shots he needs to make for Italy to win this game. And you can dress up the other stats however you want, but that's, there's the difference between the two teams yesterday and today. Montecchio can't buy one at the moment. Well, luckily basketball is of two halves. Absolutely. So maybe you'll go have a cup of tea, a drink and uh, rest and he'll come back ready to shoot a better percentage because Italy are going to need all the help they can get to get back into this game and well, potentially win. Cup of tea is the thing, you cup know? Of tea. Absolutely, can't go wrong with a cup of tea. And that's what uh, people watching this game, whether it's a cup of tea or something stronger, spend the half time, get some chill, chill out time, get ready for the second half. This could get exciting. We'll see you soon to see if Italy can get back in the game. the expectations of the entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Over 25 minutes, Mitzic. Really starting to come to the fore on offense and defense. And what a spin bounce pass into the path of Lucic. Well, you see why Mitzic is just such a game breaker. Ruban has got eight points now. Sal with the steal. They'll try and chase it back. And won't get up on the play. Nick Krejci. Yeah, Vlad attacking that closeout. The great feed inside. For the first two for Israel. Nimrod Levy with the points. Look out! Laurie Marketing is in the building. Jokic threatens the three. Wants to take it at Cork. Back to back baskets for the back to back NBA MVP.
That'll be up against Bansarovsky. Oh! Gives him a taste of his own medicine. He checks the 21-year-old into the Highlight Reel Hotel. This left Simon, gets to the foul line, drops it inside. Zubac has to finish! And he does! Yes! Zubac! Zubac wants the and one. That is a big dunk. I'm with him. I'm with him. Yeah. The and one. Yeah! Still a two possession game though. Azania, extra pass, Smith. You get a no! And Anthony can get a piece of it! On the runway up the floor for two! Oh! That's how to close out. Get a piece of that. He's not done yet. Numbers on the break. Five on two. Everyone in the blue shirt is absent. Oh! What was that saying? Make him put it on the floor. Doesn't matter. Either way, we can do it all. Drow here with the ball.
welcome back inside the media forum. Both teams back out on the floor. Well, some of the Greeks are back out on the floor. The whole of the Italian team out of the locker room. Polinara leads them with 11 points. Montecchio with four assists. He's struggling from the three-point line. And Polinara's having a game. Leads uh, in the with four rebounds. There's not been many rebound opportunities for the Italians in the defense game because the Greeks are putting up some numbers in terms of field goal percentages. That's right, Dorsey with 13 points, shooting four from seven from the three-point line. You know what he likes to do. And then Anthony Campo, 15 points. And pretty tough. I think he's having to work pretty hard in them, especially he's great in transition, right? Once he gets that full steam ahead, Mark is hard to stop, and he's getting a lot of hits by the Italians yep. to slow him down. And, and it's... it's the charge he drew, the Italians were back, so there was like there was no space. But if you're not back, he's going to go past you, and you will either foul him or let him have the two. But uh, you've got to say that if you're looking at the uh, way the game went, Pozzeco will look at it and go, I got the shots I wanted, I just didn't make them. Correct. And, and you just hope that it's the second half. Yeah. Uh, you know, tendency, you just, they're shooting the right shots. It's not like they're, sh they're making yeah. things up. That's the thing. And that's what I think he'll be happy about. It wasn't until Datomi came in and made one off of uh, off the staggered screen because the Greeks weren't quite ready for it for the first time. Um, and he got his feet set. Then Polinara started to... Uh, yeah. Contecho just could, couldn't get himself going. He will get himself going. It's just, is it going to be soon enough? Because if he gets it going, that problem we said about... Uh, for the Greeks early in the, in, before the game, we're stretching them out defensively. That right. will happen. While he keeps missing, they're not going to chase him off the line. Yeah, and Polinari leads all Italian scorers with 11 points. Nobody else over double digits. Oh. And Nicolo Melli has got most of his from the line, right? Right. So. Yes, he has at the free throw line. Which we're not being picky. If you're going to get points, it doesn't matter where you get them from. And uh, That's right. And don't forget, uh, you know, five. 16 yep. they were up at the half yesterday, Greece, and Croatia you know, took them out of their river, and they started to score, and it, you know, they had a shot at winning the game. So, you know, the margins aren't as big as uh, we're going to slip along the VIPs in the moment, and that's going to test our ability to recognize anybody. No, no I thought it was going to be our beauty shot no, time. No, no. All right, no. Not yet. I'm always ready. I don't know about you. <laughs> But great fans in the building. Uh, they've got their Italian and Greek and their NBA jerseys. No doubt there are stars in all sorts of ways on the court and off the court. Great coach Papovic from the Spurs. This is one of my favorite coaches, oh, in my opinion. I think he's one of everybody's favorite coaches because uh, as well as being a great coach, what a person. You know, he's, uh, he speaks out on a number of issues where uh, it would be, be easier to keep your head down. Yeah. So. And he's a, a coach that recruits a lot of European players as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he's sitting with uh, Bellini, Bellini and, uh, with uh, Messina, and so he's one of his assistants, uh, one of his great friends, and uh, one, okay. one of his former players. So, like, you know, he's, this is a little reunion for him, a little holiday time in, uh, in Milan with, with his friends. So, what could be better? So, we're just, uh, we're just uh, moments away from the start of the second half. Italy have to come out, get the same shots, just make them. And they've got to start, keep filling that mid, middle of the floor and take away the space for Anthony Kumba. Once he gets half a step, let him have it. You know, it's... Uh, but also, if I'm Italy, you want to slow down Dorsey, in my opinion. You can't let him keep getting hot. He's sitting on uh, 13 points, and he can fill it up and fill it up a lot and quickly. Go ahead and download your Eurobasket app. Use the QR codes to get all the latest scores. Man, there's been amazing basketball across the way uh, all day. Uh, it's going to be a day off for us tomorrow, but no doubt there's been crazy basketball in uh, Germany, there was some fantastic Lithuania versus uh, France yeah. came all the way down to the end of France, came up. Uh, Fournier went off, so, you know, it's uh, a treat, really, a basketball treat. It's a basketball, it's a festivity, yeah. a festival of the game, and uh, the only issue, you might overdose on it, because you, you might not get any sleep if you watch it on demand. 
There's a lot of games, especially today. Germany win again, so the momentum is building because obviously they're rounding Cologne. As we see, Greg Popovich and uh, the morale, who's the chair of uh, PB Europe, or was the chair. Here we go then, start of this uh, second half. Dorsey, Kalathis, Papa Nicolau enter the combo and enter the combo. The same five that started the game. He's going to stop, pops from the foul line. It's no good. Defensive rebound is owned by Fontecchio. Polinara. So enter the combo is Polinara at the moment. And that may be, you know, Polinara has been the guy that's found himself in space. Right. A little bit. The trouble is the length then to the combo. It's tough to uh, go over him. Melly tries to use his feet in traffic, and they just played so disciplined. No one reached Kalathis. And one. How did he get the ball above his head? Let alone make the two. Yeah. And Melly down here on the other end draws the defense. Really suckers them in. Look, look at here. One, two, three, four, five. Get the ball out. It's three, four guys. All three around guys, him. All yep. wide open and on the then perimeter. And here, under the Kumpo, somehow, magically, Greek the freak for a reason, catches the ball and gets rewarded with the and one. The only Greek player that didn't go to help was Anthony Kumpo, because he, he said, I'm not right. leaving Polinari. He's no. the one guy making shots. So, again, decisions for the team. And uh, Anthony Kumpo, been working on that. Free throw with his uh, coach from the Bucks, Josh, and it looks good. That oh. free throw looks really good. Double digit lead again. Italy got to do all that work again to get back in it. Tanut goes baseline, drops it to the corner. Montecchio needs it. Can't get it to go, but that's a rebound by Polinara. Big rebound. Tanut wide open for three. It's good. what Italy needs and you see coach there fist pump and this crowd needs to get in, yeah. involved they're a little quiet in my opinion that was a three point that should ignite them yeah. and really get on their feet but it was almost they were disappointed that Fontecchio's three didn't go down foul on the play that told me wants the uh, three second call because he didn't believe that uh, they came out of the zone the key way the extra pass, though, so no, nothing but strength. Seven-point game. Enter the combo in the post. Fills the double team, backs out, drops into Kalathis. Beautiful little teardrop by Nick Kalathis. Ooh. But what a pass. You know, the pass and the teardrop, it's like... Remind everybody what Coach just said, you know, there was a little bit of questioning in the press conference you know would the team just become sue anthony combo focused and he said hey look at the players i've got you know he took agravanas into the timeout as they moved the ball great rotation and there's that one foul again that papa nicolau is going to take for the team i'm on the long closeout i don't want you to get an option you want yeah but there's 2.5 seconds on the clock so that does make the clock Possibly. set and there's a nice little drop off pass by anthony combo to his friend nick Former college teammate of yours, yeah, or? Yeah, he was. A nice little uh, dunk off on Nick Lucas. Yep, he's a Gator. We went to Florida together. Oh, Fontecchio gets the two. That'll hopefully give him some confidence. He's got to find a way to get that three point shot going. That's a post up by Papa Nicolau. And they're going to. What is that? They're going to oh, no. call. They're going to call. It's a pissu for like wrapping his arm around. Let's have a look. I don't know if we've got the right angle. Well, you can see the left arm is wrapped. So that's an easy call for the yeah. official. Yeah, the, one, the palm of the hand, the yeah. palm of the hands on the body. One of those keys that makes life a little bit easy. Or easier for a referee because it's never easy. Got another whistle. Yeah, I clocked it. Start. It's going to start frustrating both coaches as well as the officials. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know, why don't they reset it to 14 now? Because it didn't set, didn't ring, and then the Italians lose three seconds off the sideline possession because the table didn't work. Yeah, they're going to maybe talk about it. Just have to reset everything. If you're going to say the clock didn't start, take it back to where it was. The 
crowd doing all they can to ignite the emotion in the Italian lineup. The referee's just trying to make sure we've got the right numbers on the scoreboard. They're going to stay with the 11 seconds, which I do find interesting. Yeah, seven point game here. Dorsey with the ball. And out of bounds. bounds. And so, because of the clock malfunction, yeah. they'd already got the ball in Greece. Clock malfunctions, they have to get it in again, they turn it over. Right. Not. Uh, Maybe that's a what home court. That's a conspiracy, right? <laughs> Pisu comes off the high screen, faces up, moves it on. Got the mismatch with Meli. There it is. Yep, yep. Kalafis still look disappointed, but I think more of a rueful smile than a, a disagreement. Yeah, but Italy's doing a fantastic job. They're all uh, trying to pick on the uh, mismatch of yep. Nick Kalafis, and they get it, and he has to foul to stop the ball going to Meli. Melly's got the ball out of bounds. Guarded by Papa Nicolau. Melly backs him in, backs him in, ball fakes. Blows the two-footer again, and he's had a couple of those. Kalathas pushes, open three. Great decision. Find the shooter. Is yeah. there a better shooter than me? Yes, there is. I'm going to give him the ball. Yeah, and I love it. Way to share the basketball. Great team. Basketball there by the Greeks. Tanut moves it on. Polinaro with his feet set. It's nothing. I think Italy might need a timeout here. Things aren't going their way. Dorsey in the lane, foul to go to the free throw line. This is going to make it a double digit or a 12 point lead. It's already double digit. But the Greeks are relentless here, aren't oh. they? Here, Dorsey putting it on. Put it on them. Defending them. Then here, Nikolaitis pushing. Swings the ball. That's a great decision. That's a great decision. And you know what? That's a team player right there. Manassas loves it. He gets the assist, and he's just as excited as the shooter is. Yeah, his excitement is we've just scored three. And it's, uh, it's That's very, usually my style. You it's know? very much like uh, the we that we all talk about as a team, because it is a team game. Italy already in the, with 14 fouls, down 12, potential unsportsmanlike. Well, that, we'll take a look at okay, that. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Uh, yes, this one, this one, please. Yes, yes. Let's go with the normal speed, please. Again. With the left arm, he's going to the ball. He's not grabbing, not pulling the arm. I think we must remain with a personal foul. Also, the right arm is not coming to wrap him, so Please, it's personal foul. Basketball. Yes, I agree. So I confirm. Confirm personal foul. Personal foul uh, number uh, blue nine. Yes. And two shot for, for the number, number two. Two white. Okay, let's go. Thank you. So, Thanks. Thank you. So just a regular foul. Yeah, on just a regular foul. Yeah. And uh, Ameli and Tunut, they had Tunut reaching across, but uh, genuinely had a, a, and the good thing for him is that if he'd used the other arm, it would have been, but he kept that out of, out of the play. Dawson's got a chance to make this a 12 point game, 6.52 to go in the third. And I'm, uh, it's a worrying time for, for Italy. They still haven't got Contecchio going from the perimeter. As you said, Greece are relentless in the way that they're actually Pushing the, ball, yeah. pushing the ball and Italy need to start scoring to stop them running and I know that's a, a, a most obvious thing in the world to say but uh, never truer than in this game at the moment and they're also struggling offensively they've only oh. scored five points in this quarter Pisu, six on the clock they're going to skip it Tanut, need, they need to get this away now Otecio, can't get it to go yesterday he would have probably made that on the break, Papa Nicolau, they drop it off. Dorsey steps back out. Watch out. Into the Gumbo as the second trainer exploded to the ring. Yeah, to foul him. Yep, and Italy's had enough. They're going to have a timeout. But yet again, look at this. Moves round the rim before that, uh, before Yanis hits the, the layup there. The ball moves. Dorsey, every 
uh, player for the Greek team touched the ball. Beautiful basketball. It's hard. It's so hard to defend, especially when you're running back in transition defense. And in, in all those occasions, they've literally said, the next man's got a better shot. Yeah. So they obviously they know self is cool, yeah. Dilemma. Let's hear it. Yeah, the dilemma for Italy is that what, what other options do they have? It's not as if they have other people on the bench they can throw in. Right. The they have who they have. Yeah, yeah. And the style is going to be the same. And so therefore, they, it's not they don't have other options to go to. They don't have other options to go to against Greece. Okay. So like, it's not as if they can go inside because if they go inside when they have the, the proper lineup, it's tough to get shots. So the, their ball movement is exceptional, their execution is exceptional, but got to make the jumper. Right. And the Greeks, you said it, right? They're struggling in the half court now at least because the Greek defense has just stepped up another step into the lane. So they're struggling to run their stuff. They sure are. And that's, you know, it's... Um, it's uh, the word MVP rings out around the arena as the uh, two-time MVP. Yanis and to the Kumpo lines up for his free throw. And he's worked hard on that. Everything's in a straight line now. Strokes it. And dangerous times here for Italy. That's a 14 point lead. They've come back from 10 on two occasions. Got to do it to 14 now. And they're getting a little slow in the half court. The ball sticks. Now they go inside. Yo, moves it out. Canute. In the corner, the pursue can't get it to go. Great work on the glass by Polinala. Yeah, he's been working hard for those extra possessions here, Melly. Ball sticks, Polinara, mid range two is no good, and nothing's been in rhythm for a while here. And this is quite a, a statement at the moment. There's a long, long time to go, and something's going to ignite Italy at some point. Anthony Combo spins in the lane. And they go jump ball because uh, Potencio gets two hands on it. I think that's the right call then. It's not a foul. I think, let's have a look. This is a better look, actually. Better. There you go. No, we had hand top and bottom. Good call. And there's a frustrated look on uh, Potencio's face. Potencio, yeah. He's a... Uh, Melly will sit, Richie is in, and Richie did well in the first half. And at the same time, Agravanis is coming. He's uh, 4 from 15 tonight for Tetrio. So there is some front frustration there as he's shooting 27% from the floor. And the four have been around the ring, I think. Yeah. Pursuit. And maybe he just needs something simple. Yep. Drive to the, lay uh, to the basket. Told me he didn't look to him either. Tetsio gets his feet set just on the three point line. Welcome to the game. And we just called it. That would be the uh, commentator's blessing. Yes. Not the curse this time. Simone Fontecchio. Is that the start of the second half or quarter that's going to drag Italy right back into this. Agravanis on the outside will hand it off. Papanikolaou thinks about the three, goes baseline. Great movement by Kalatis to the baseline for the three is no good. Offensive rebound by Polinari just keeps accumulating positive stats. Pisu. Find the hot hand. Is this the hot hand? Yes, it is. It sure is. And like I said, a blessing is exactly what the Italians need. Back to back shots, and it's a timeout for the Greeks. They want to talk about it. Uh, two, this is seen two threes drop. He's, uh, I'm not having any more of that. Let's get into the huddle. And there's a sign. And look at this. Lines his speed up beautifully. Could have been a foul, 
down, but nothing but net and a splash, and the Ital Italians are back in the game. And here's the first one that started him off. And in fact, to be fair, both threes, he's had many easier looks earlier in the game. Yeah. You know? But sometimes that's the case when yeah. you're too wide open, you yeah. never make them. Like you just need to be guarded. Good shooters have to shoot. The only way you're going to get your normal percentages is shoot your way out of it. Yeah. Shooters shoot. And if you don't, there's no place for you on the floor. Yeah, and there's he's two from eight from the three point line. And so all the fans wave, and those are all the Greek the Greek t shirts on the front line. This is a packed it's to the rip. Oh, it's. Eurobasket basket, there is nothing like Eurobasket because as we found out so far here in Milan and across the tour, we've had so many last shot winning, winning yeah. games, etc. And you have to play till the very end, right? In every single game. Every there's single there's game. tournaments around the world where you know you get one or two games where you think, hey, we're going to win this, but not here. Not in Milan, not in Cologne, not in Prague, and not in Tbilisi. In the four cities for Eurobasket. Dawson's is back. Tried to lay back in that one. This is the three. Nikola Mannion in the game. Chance for Reeves to get right back in this. Ricci has it in the post. He has no options. He's going to go to work. And that's a foul on the floor. And he kind of knew he had the mismatch. And look at here. Early, really. Yeah, had to. Yeah, no, it's on his own. Lucas is like, I eat. No one's told me they there. Yeah, Lucas knew. Just make sure the referees knew it wasn't shooting. Polinara on the long side was open, and then Anthony Kumbo, who was miles away, saw it and just outstretched that arm. Petru is short. Greek a little bit, one shot, one pass, last few possessions. This is really helping Italy get back in this. Ricci will hit the second side. That's Omi. Guarded by Slukas, has a size advantage, steps back to the three. Slukas did a great job defensively. Really good job. Polinara for three. Get the crowd involved. That's exactly what Italy needs. Right on time. Polinara is the man who's been stepping up. Him and Montecchio looking to knock down threes right now. Anthony Kumbo's going to work on the baseline. Going to be a blocking foul on uh, Datomi. Datomi, yeah. And that's a lot to ask Datomi by himself. Good kick out. Sets his feet here. And the lefty shoots. Nothing but net to splash. And he says, ooh, I like it. That's an exciting coach. Five point game, but Italy already in the penalty. So Anthony Combo, who draws so many fouls across the game, finds himself on the free throw line. This is where that uh, work he's put in gets tested. Once you get to the pressurized end of the game, is he going to hold up? Makes the first. 3-11 to go in the third. Yeah, it's one of those games where you're thinking, we're you only in the third? <laughs> I know. Into the combo to make this a seven-point game. Which he does. Seven-point game. I feel like Italy just claw their way back in, get really close, and then Greece do enough just to keep ticking that board over and keep it just at arm's length. Papianis checks into the game. And to the combo takes some time on the bench. Montecchio for three. Wow, but a timeout's done its job. He was feeling it. Tough three though, at, at speed, had to stop, pop it, seven point game, 2.40 to go in three. Slukas out top, will turn the corner. Agravanis 
You know he doesn't miss that one. He's wide open. Where's your scout? Do not leave that man, Agavagas, outside the three-point line. Mark. Everyone got drawn to the ball, didn't yeah. they? It's like three men dropped on a drive that was going nowhere. A little pick and pop. Polinara thinks about it, has it knocked away. Just about retains it. Yeah. And they're going to call the foul, and that'll put Greece into the penalty with 2.19 to go. And if I'm Italy, I'm really going to try and push at this Greek team there, as you see the foul. There's no... Either both Yanises are on the bench, you've got uh, Dorsey on the bench, and you've got uh, Nick Kalathis. That's pretty much your starting five on the, on the bench. You've got to push here while your starters are out and try to uh, really execute and cut into this lead this last two minutes and 19 seconds. Nicola Mani on the, in, on the inbounds will get it to Ponteccia. Puts it on the floor, going right, needs a pass. Somehow Polinara almost holds on, but a pass into too much white traffic. Everybody from Greece rotated down to the blind of the ball. Slukas comes off the early screen. No advantage, Mani gets through, picks again. Lucas stops with his feet on the three-point line for the that's long pretty, two. That's pretty much. Right. Another lefty. Costas Lucas for me, one of the toughest, and he gets the steal. All the hard work, getting it back to five, undone in three possessions. Yes, I love it. He says, come on, he is a workhorse, ladies and gentlemen, here. Look, doesn't give up on the play, sacrifices himself, and gets rewarded with the slam. Agravanus, 14 point game now, and it was five. They got it back to five now, it's a 9 0 run. Mannion, a lot of dribble. Dantoni puts it on the floor, needs a pass, finds one just about, but just gets his feet set, puts up the three, is short, and he just cannot get rid of it. Mannion for three is no good. Good work. Richie should be able to collect that. That will be a Italian basketball. Well, they've missed that back-to-back -back shooting there, but yet again, giving themselves an extra... Uh, they're working hard on the glass, on the offensive glass, Italy. They're not giving up. There's still a long, a long time left in this game, Mark. Wake up. Well, Come on. 106. 14-point game. Every time they get back in it, as you yeah. said a little while ago, Greece didn't do enough to open it out. And they're doing this 14 points with not without Anthony Combo on the floor. So while he's resting, they're extending the lead. Mannion, a little hesitation, gets to the lane and has to come down. And again, when that many people are drawn to the ball, they're going to call the foul. And you can see Litchi saying to him, and there's that many, he's got to pass the ball to everybody. Watch this. He gets in the air. There's the foul. There's another one. And then he comes down with it, but there's you can see four Greeks level with the ball. Obviously, he's, he's not going to go over those guys. Make the pass to the open shooter. He's fouled out though, he's on the free throw line. Absolutely needs them both. Drains the first. Yeah, they'd love to be in single digits before they start the fourth quarter. It'll be a big, it'll look like a big margin if they're down 12. Makes the second. It's Lucas again. He just you could you, you can criticize by saying there's too much dribble, but now he gets the mismatch. Now he attacks it, and then he'll pop the assist. Incredible. <laughs> And Zaki's movement was smart, intelligent, and they just found it. It's but they're moving. Once one guy really puts the ball on the floor and drives, all the other four players are constantly moving, cutting, finding their spot. Manu hesitates, gets down the lane, off the glass, is fouled. Manion is... A handful, in my opinion, yeah, yeah. really. His handles are tight, slick, turns the corner, and then gets rewarded. That foul will go to the line. Happy Yanis, he's in there, he's just spelling people. He won't mind using up some fouls. No. 
Anthony Kumbo comes back for the last 11 seconds. Agravanis uh, takes the other side of the keyway. And he makes the first back to a 14 point game. A little bit, very much deja vu moments for the Italians. They get to six, back out to 14. Used right. to be back out to 10. Now it's back out to 14. Mannion doesn't make the second, stays at a 14 point game. Into the combo with seven seconds to get the shot away. Darren Zakis going to have to take it himself. Gets his feet set for three, is off. And at the end of three, Reese has stretched the lead. And they're close to blowing this game open. If they have hung, hung in there tough, they trowel at the end of three, 71 to 57. Well, I just think Italy needs to keep being aggressive. Uh, they're 12 from 14 from the free throw line. So they're getting to the line and they're successful at the free throw line, as you see it there at uh, 86%. And then the three point line is not being kind to them shooting 30%. But shoot a shoot, and that's what you need to keep doing. But then also, if that's not working for you, what's your next thing that you're good at? And that is driving to the basket, slashing. Keep moving as we get to see the third quarter, best plays. But for me, it's all about the Greeks. Greek Freak has been pretty, pretty solid. I have no complaints. Oh, no. And, and you're right, you know, but like, if you compare them to last night, they just look much more than Yeah. Okay. Early on, you know, their, their rhythm is better on the perimeter. Papa Nicolaou's knocking down threes. And, like, uh, I think the tone was set with, with, uh, when Anthony Gumbo didn't. Like, last, yesterday, he saw Croatia set, asking him to shoot it, so he shot it. Today, right. No, no. First play of the game, threw it down. Next play of the game, he's going up again. Yeah, so and he's, he's dishing set, it yeah, off. Yep. Yeah, and he set the tone. Yeah, so, and then he's getting support by uh, yeah. Agravanis is doing a solid, right. outstanding job for me. Yeah, I agree. Agravanis, Agravanis, you know, is in one of the, uh, should we say, less glamorous clubs. Uh, they're all, compared to Panathinaikos and Olympiakos, you could argue they're all less glamorous, but Thomas uh, Jarrus, who play in the Europe Cup, but, uh, but he's their man, you know, it's his team. Right, but he's, he's, he's got seven, he's uh, played 17 minutes, he's four from four on the floor, made his way to the line, it's, it's good minutes from him. Right. That's why Coach Atunas took him into the press conference yesterday. <laughs> yes, he, he, he was the guy who came up with the plays at the end of the game to make sure they got over the line. Okay, here we go, folks, the last quarter. Do Italy have it in their legs and in their locker in terms of their options to eat into this into this 14 point advantage and get this crowd humming. And the clock doesn't start again. And coach isn't really happy about it as you can see he's absolutely losing it. And I don't know what's going on. Um, going to have to ask my friends later. I've got friends in many places, Mark, and I've got a few uh, referee friends. Not many people own up to that, I've got to say. Why, why not? Well, because They're nice humans. They are when they, when you want them to be your friends, mate. I know. Do you know what I mean? They are. Uh, there's respect, should we say. Nowhere to go. Italy hunts it down, and that will be an Italy basketball. What the ideal start to this fourth quarter would be is Italy getting back to that pass movement. Yeah. Down, coming off screens, creating the inside-outside option and making the jump shot. Get right. some momentum early. And chip away at the yep. score. Polinara, nice pass. What a play defensively, though. Super work by Agravanis. Gets a piece of it. Now he's the second trail. Moves it on. The open three is off. Go on, Pavetri. Nicola Mannion. Had the opportunity to go early. Three in the corner is off. And Richie can't get it to go. Yeah, both teams settling for a three. Uh, especially at the start of a quarter you want something simple you know the three is always going to be there yeah and it's it's the fact they settled for it they didn't run it so it wasn't someone coming off of the screen to get their feet set and to the combo 
nice pass. Open three. There it is. It's off. Defensive rebound. Chance to run there. They've got to commit to transition. Tonuta gives it to Mannion. Early entry down to Datomi. Steps back for the two. Doesn't get it to go. You like the transition. You like the tempo. Datomi with the dribble made it a little tougher for himself. Tight on the baseline. And to the combo. Settles for the three. He is way short. And the, and the Italian crowd are letting him know. Yeah, that the window is open somewhere. Yeah. Well, that's all right. It happens to the best of us. It definitely happens to the best of us. And uh, Colinara is going to sit with 14 points and 10 rebounds. He really has put a shift in double double already with eight minutes to go. They and need to the scoreboard. Yeah. They need it to tick over. Melly. Manion. Attacks it straight down the lane. Don't forget, Anthony Kumbo's there. And he has to manufacture it so hard that he changes it so much that he misses it. Agravans needs a pass. Just fires it out to Stasnikas. Just lob it in there. Anthony Kumbo, throw it up, gets his own rebound. Trying to fight for it, does fight for it. Goes up and will go to the free throw line. And you know what? That is a workhorse oh. at its finest. Look at him. Doesn't give up on the play. Finds his way. And they have to foul him. Easy foul. Cross the forearm and the forehead. And he makes his way back to the free throw line. He is working hard for those points, Mark. Wow. He's, uh, attitude-wise, he's, he's such a... This, everybody could everybody be like him attitude-wise. Yeah, he's a beast. But like you can't, no one can be like in terms of physicality and talent-wise. Yeah. But he's, if you add that, and he's, he works that hard, he could play on the Estonian team. Yes, yes, he could. Estonia works just as hard to work as, as he is. He's got his double-double. Obviously, 22 points, 10 rebounds. Mr. Yanis Antetokounmpo had his double-double yesterday around this point, I think, also. Yeah. Marco Pizzu checks in. Mannion sits down. It hasn't really worked for Mannion tonight. And he's just going against uh, so much depth at the guard spot for this Greek team. This Greek team are contenders. Okay, they've got a superstar, but they have players across the roster. I mean, obviously, Greece uh, have won the Eurobasket European Championship twice. The last time was in 2005. So it's not going to be the first time they've been there. Obviously, silver medalist the following year when they yes. came up with a huge performance over the United States in the semi final in Japan. And wow, and again. The Greeks aren't letting down at all, are they? They are fighting. When you've got your MVP on the floor diving on. Yeah, you better get there. Yeah, you better get there. Look at this. Loose ball, bodies on the floor. If he's going down, I'm going down. Although, he went down in stages, to be fair. But yeah. he went down. Yeah, those are... Got to look after those legs. But you know what? I, I must take my hat off to, to the Greek team because they are really fighting on both ends. They're working tremendously hard down here on the defensive end, making it very difficult for Italy, really taking the air out of the crowd and... Uh, and then doing very well on the offensive end, the other side. Yeah, it's uh, it's too early to say that there's a last throw of the dice, but Pontecchio has to get going, and then they've got a chance. If he doesn't get going, I don't know where they score enough points from here. Also, Messi needs to get going. Yeah, absolutely, Messi gets it on the inside, but what? And that's the beauty of having depth. That's the beauty of having guards who are going to rotate into the game. It doesn't matter who you are, you're going to hit the deck for this team. Coach Atunas is saying, that's my basketball. Yeah. But the referee had a clean shot at this. I would like to see it. Let's have a look. Well, they're saying that Belly got tripped. Come on. You know, it's just... But they're giving it to Greece. I... I... I, I... But they didn't call a foul, right? Sorry, I got stuck watching the replay because I was trying to see whose hand it came off of. No, they didn't call a foul. Well, they haven't called a foul, but they've given it. It didn't come off Melly's hand. No. So, interesting. Maybe we can find that later. At the moment, though, it's far more important things. Costas Lucas has it. Nice find. For Petri for three. 
rimmed in and out. And the bench has been less productive tonight for Greece. Pesu comes off the high screen. Datomi looks to reverse the basketball. Nikola Meli moves it on. Meli. Guys have got to look to shoot. They did tell me in the corner for three, who had a tough one. And Meli passed up a couple of earlier ones. Yeah, and that's the shot that Italy settled for. It's, it's a tough three-point shot in the corner. I think they can get a little bit better, Mark, in my uh, opinion. I agree. Or is that just the Greek defense? No, I agree, because, you know, it, it is, is uh, Nicola Meli coming off of a ball, coming off of a screen, coming to the top, receiving it, and just moving it on? Or should he be looking to take the responsibility with the shot? By the time the move did that, told me he had the defense all over. That's pass, it's almost passing up uh, the responsibility. Plenty of time to try to eat into the 15 point lead, but they've got to start scoring. Yeah, kick ball. And you've got still Dorsey and Nikolakis on the bench for the. The Greeks. And, uh, and Atutis will probably leave them there for as long. He may leave them there for the rest of the game. Right. But he'll definitely leave them there for as long as he can. Tanut gets it off to and gets it back. Beats set for the three. That's Rocks what it. needed. Tanut right on time. Thank you very much. And now, come on, crowds, get behind your Italian team and get them back into this game. Twelve-point game. Yep. Twelve-point game. Six forty to go. Giannis has it at the top. Wants it in the block. And Romanis, surely not. Oh, yep. my word. <laughs> he loves oh, it. Oh, Agrovanis. Dimitrios Agrovanis. Well, if there's a player in the game and it stays this way, he is it. Whatever the, whatever the numbers may tell you. He works at both ends of the floor. Meli has it in the block, needs a pass, goes to the corner, they take away the shot for that told me as uh, Anthony Combo closed him out. And a kick ball, so the uh, shot clock will reset to 14. And yet again, Italy struggling to even have a look, a good yeah. look at oh. the rim before even a shot. And here comes... Uh, it doesn't get any easier, right? No, no, you're right. And there's part of me here that would uh, would see Greece trying to win this by as many, really not letting up in this game. Dorsey comes back, enters the combos in. Lucas is in the backcourt with Dorsey. There's, that's a lineup in the game at the moment. Tanuk wide open, just made one from there, goes back to back threes. Yeah, back they're, to back. They're not done. They're not done yet. Not by a long way. Not with Poseco as the coach and not with 12,000 people in the gym. Right, and not with five minutes still left to play. Lucas, and this is where Greece will try and take time out of the clock. Time and possession for Greece. I'd say it's a little early for that, but. Whistle on the play with 4.5, and the foul that deep just just kills you. What's the foul? Here's uh, Tanoop's three-point shot, two back-to-back -back in a row, nothing but net and a splash. We love that. Real easy and smooth for Tanoop. And uh, out of bounds here, Dorsey. With Dorsey the ball. will inbound to into the compa. Kumpo and uh, Slukas moves it on. Dorsey swung through, came off the down screen, puts it on the floor, breaks it down, goes up, is fouled, and will go to the free throw line. And with 3.8, this is this is Greek basketball. This is like no risk. We're going to make sure we get the win. We don't need to go into a showtime mode. This is the way we play. Yeah, and that's tough. And you can see that easy foul. Uh, Melly there under the press. And uh, the tough arcs to guard a quick Dorsey. Yep. And that's Manny's fourth foul with five minutes to go. But Dorsey doesn't make the first, so still keeps the door open. You've got to leave him in, and Polinara's got to come back. If you're going to have a hope, or, or you believe you've got a hope, Polinara needs to check back in. It's only a 12-point game. The way that the, the Greeks look confident, it's like they think it's a 25-point game. Right. So the, the, they look confident in, in maintaining and managing the margin. 13-point lead right now. Great recognition. Two goes to the baseline. Yeah. Wow. He's what really it? putting this Italian team on his back, isn't he? When, uh, when they were talking about why they've qualified and why they've uh, done so well in the World Cup qualifiers, 
Coaches talk about is Stefan Toulouse. Wow. He's there every window, he's there every time, he's taking responsibility, leads by example. That's tough, that's a tough finish. Two back-to-back -back threes and then this big layup. 13 points for him and two rebounds, good shift. And uh, not a soft touch. Uh, just cop blocks that copy book. Now he's not got a three-point play. 4.40 to go. 10-point game. They really need stops right now. They don't need fouls that reset. And that's silly. Right? That's a silly foul. But also, it's dangerous when you can see Anthony Kumpo winding up. Here he is. You can see with that hop step, he's getting ready, really prying the defense to see what he can get. And the Italians are not happy, but it's the right call. Lucas just loves Lucas's control. Kicks it wide open. Short. Way short. For Luke on the wrong end of the 11 point margin. Another three would go down really well at this point. Kisu to take the Tatomi screen. He doesn't really dive to the hoop, but he is guarded by Lucas down low. So Luke goes the three, fires up to Pisu for three. <laughs> Big hit, big, big hit. Getting interesting right now. Eight point game, is there enough time? Do they have enough weapons? They need stops. Most importantly, they need stops. Slukas, little hesitation and penetration, needs a pass. Agravanis puts it on the floor. Looks inside, just lobs it into, into the combo. Oh, on your head, exactly what you need. Bring the freak, give it to him. And drives baseline, Mark. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. It was like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just amazed at him. I'm just amazed at him. His team needed it. Give it to me. Yep. Demanded it. Tetsuya with a runner for two is good. Ooh, I like that. Nice it's, little runner. Italy hanging in, hanging tough. Down eight, 3.15 to go. Still time, but we'll make the same statement. Got to get a stop. Dorsey backs it out. Wants to go down to Anthony Kumbo. Tanu just desperately trying to hold him out. Papa Nicolau doesn't get the drop. And the ball will go back to Italy. And, and there's a technical foul. Well, the Greeks are, Greece isn't happy. They felt like it came off the Italians. Uh, yeah, coach gets a technical foul. And yeah, he's saying no, no, no. He's swinging that Matumbo finger, saying, referee, you got it wrong. Okay, he's going to know where to draw the line on this. He doesn't need a. He won't get a second. They won't be that. And they won't be that crazy. That told me to make this a seven-point game. And have possession of the basketball. Big trip, huge trip for Italy. And not surprisingly, Kalafis just shows a little bit of pressure, not a lot. So Greece with the three guards, Anthony De Kumbo and Papa Nicolaou in the game. Tanu, who's hot at the moment. Nikolic Otanu stops, pops. And if you hot, take the bonus. Give them. Nicola Melli in the post would have been a far better option. Here they go. Enter the combo. 2.30 on the clock. Fills a little double team just developing. Dorsey. Oh, my oh. word. Oh, my gosh. Really a big time shot there. If he doesn't make that, you say that's a terrible shot, but Dorsey, wow, of course he's going to make that. He's making enough that he gets a little bit of a green light on that, but it's like... Pontecchio to answer, he does! We are not going anywhere, say Italy. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting last two minutes. And to the Kumpo now. Outside the three, faces up with Meli, and to the Kumpo. Settles for the three, doesn't get it to drop. Tanuk keeps it alive, Sapisu has it. Potecchio pulls the trigger and is fouled on the three. And we're going to get a reaction here. Tanuk 
says. Oh, watch this. This is the first one, the one he yes. just made. Want to see the one in broken play. Greece are going to take the time out. Yeah, and the crowd are in it. And this is what Italy has been waiting for. He's going to have, when we come back, he's going to shoot three three throws. Oh, yeah, he does. Yep, you're right. Chance to make it a four-point game with 1.40 to go. And Greece, Greece just have this thing. Let's make it close for the crowd. They let Croatia do it to them in game day one. And Tecchio go into the line to make this a four-point game with 1.40, which is an eternity. After all the digging themselves out of the hole that Italy have gone through in this game, they've been down 10, down 12, down as many as I think 14 and 16 at one point. They're back at six, seven, at seven down with three free throws to go, which he simply has to make all three. And that'll put them four down with 1.40 to go. Little deja vu. We've had this before so much. So we've, had, we've only had two days. We've had it three or four times already here in Milan. Games are never over until they're over. Makes the first. And the Italians are shouting MVP for their guy who's on the line right now. Attecchio makes the first. He's got two more. not been his greatest night from the three-point line. But when it really mattered, he's come through. <laughs> 21 points on when I've just said it's not been his greatest night. He's still put in a performance. Three from three from the line. And that's solid by him. It's not been his best night, but he hasn't given up. And he's been shooting he himself never, back into the yeah, game. Never stopped shooting the ball when he was open. Here's Nick Kalathis. Italy have no fouls to give. Anthony Kumbo in the post. He knows the double team's going to come. And here it does come. Nowhere to go. Kicks it to the baseline. Slukas heads up. Just about managed to keep enough of a foot on the, on the floor. Really tiptoed his Let's take ballerina, a really. Look at this. Stays with the one foot and manages to throw it off an Italian foot. Very smart, but they've got six seconds here to get an offensive shot up. Six seconds more than enough. You know, the Kumbo or Dorsey in the game. Dorsey has it. This is going up. Steps back, puts up the three. Wow! Oh my word. wow. Tyler Dorsey! Big, big oh. hit. Wow! Opens it out to a seven-point game. Fontecchio gets the two. And they will not lie down. Get the quick two going the other way. Back to a five-point game. Two-possession game. That was the longest minute, wasn't it? Oh. Now we're into the last minute. Kalathis. They're going to keep this and run the clock down. And to the combo. And Italy save it. Chance to run. Still a two-possession game, though. Have to score. To not thought about it. Fontecchio puts it on the floor. They're going to have to go twice. And that's going to be good. I assume that, I think they've just called the interference. Fontecchio on the floor. Enter the combo on the floor. Knocks it away. They fall over each other. I think, I am hoping, and I do think that I think most of it is just one exhaustion, just two a bang on the floor. Yeah, and also you've got to find ways to uh, still breath, 
breath of fresh air, catch your breath back, because this is an just, intense game. Just listen to the noise now. It's a one possession game, one stop, one stop, and a chance to tie the game. Italy have been down double digits three or four times in this game. They now drag themselves back. You're going to look at this. It's hit the back ball, definitely. Your basket. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Your basket. I know they've got to be sure. Timeout for Greece, I believe. I don't think so. Nope, no timeout. No, no, they haven't. They were just sneaking. They were sneaking a quick timeout. Yeah, sneaking a quick timeout as the referees were having their little A sneaky power little timeout. Yep, and that's what you need to get. And uh, that was the baseline dunk. So nothing you can do about it really reaches out. Both both coaches have timeouts to burn still. Here's Tyler Dorsey. He'll take as long as he possibly can here. Stefana Tanut guards him. They switch it. Dorsey on the floor, gets to the foul line. Nick Kalafas for three, is off. Anthony Kumbo can't get it. They have a foul in the kill. Datomi chases it down. Tanut from the corner, doesn't get it to go. And Dorsey gets the rebound. And he gets a big, big rebound. And really, Wow. I think they've called the foul, so Dorsey, yeah. Dorsey, Dorsey will go to the line. And in, in essence, it's an unsportsmanlike foul, but that's what the game means to those two coaches. They know that their teams have put a performance in here. Yeah. They know they're both gonna, at some point they're both going to advance out of this group. Yeah, they both hug, and that's a sign of respect. Uh, a great, great game here. I mean, it's a three-point game, but potentially can be a five-point game. But wow, that last set of events for Italy. Two looks, good looks at the uh, rim. I'd like to see the one of them again. It looked like Fontecchio had the space to land taken away, but I don't think they were ever going to call it. Tanuk chased it down, gets the other look from the three. And uh, Dorsey misses the first. Dorsey again with what turned out to be the game winning three. Yeah. When he just has no right to shoot the ball as yeah. well as he shot it. Yeah, finishes with 23 points. A great night for him. Only played 26 minutes too. He is an efficient monster. And that's it, Greece. Get the win. Well, going to get to the confirmation of the score in a minute, but wow. Glendo Gamba enjoyed that one. The Hall of Fame coach who was uh, given the recognition before the game. Greece with the 85-81 win over Italy. It's only day two. They both want to be playing it on a lot longer than this. They both want to make the trip to Berlin. But there are the stats and the Italian three-point numbers that you were talking about all the way through got slightly better. But the game for them is won and lost right there. Yeah, but and they won the rebounding game 42 to 38. They were out rebounding the Greek and obviously the Greek, the Greek, the anti the Kumpo, 26 points, a good shift by him and really they look to him and that is where his next level is and where he is an MVP. His team needed him. He say asked for the ball and he got the ball and he performed. But that man also, uh, this is the last couple of events, two shots. You know, you can't ask for anything better. Two looks at the three-point line. And uh, Dorsey, for me, this was big too, wasn't it? That's the game winner in the end. That's Ooh. the one, that's the bank that put them on of 85. Wow. The shot clock running down and that's what you drill. He's ice in the veins for me. Well, we're going to look at the best plays in the second half, but let's just talk about what was. you got to say, Italy, the game controlled by by Greece from literally, you've got to say again, get go, yeah. 30, 35 minutes or so in the game. They had a couple of runs in to get back in it, but controlled by, by Greece, and they looked in control for most of the game. But wow, 
They yeah. literally never went away and never died, made some threes, got back in it. But they were, they were in that hole and Fonteco just couldn't get that three-point going until late on. Yeah, Fonteco took a while, but I must admit, I'll give it to him. He was struggling uh, to find his offense, but really kept pushing. And that's what his team needed from him. He ended up with 26 points and we said he's struggling, you know, but he did. It, it wasn't his usual night, especially from uh, the night before. He was shooting long, long threes, but it's all about the Greek for me they're 2-0 they're feeling good and you know what they're managing to to really pull out tough wins that you would think that they would come out and blow out teams but they're not teams are sticking around but the thing is they're getting the job done when it matters they are but the worry if you're you're sitting there thinking well how did we get into a close one against croatia how did italy get back in that when we had them where they were and maybe maybe when it comes to later in the competition Tudis doesn't rotate as much. He keeps Dorsey in the game longer. Maybe that's the answer. He, he goes with that, but uh, it just shows the quality of the opponent that both Croatia and Italy just wouldn't die, came back. No, they're fantastic. For Greece, though, they've put away the two, the two highest ranked teams in the group. Should be plain sailing for them. No game is easy, but they should be plain sailing for them. To go all the way to the next round unbeaten. But that's for another day. We get a day off here tomorrow, and I think both these teams need will, it. will need a little bit. They'll shoot, they'll stretch, but they'll walk through. They'll get ready for the next day, but they need that day where they can uh, just do some uh, recovery. Yeah, it's definitely needed. It's a long tournament, and two back-to-back -back games like this of intensity. Uh, there's a lot of tired legs out there. So tomorrow is definitely needed, and we need it. We need to save and uh, rest our voices, so I won't be speaking to you tomorrow, Mark. Huh? <laughs> All right, into the combo, got player in the game. So, you know, again, he was great. He's always going to be great. I mean, that's the thing. He's always going to be great. But in, in, both, in both games, Tyler Dorsey has made, in many ways, the biggest contribution to the actual win. Here are the confirmation of the results. Greece with the 85-81 win, following on from the Ukraine one-pointer and the Croatia's comfortable win over Great Britain. So it's been another marvelous day here in Milan. So we're going to say goodbye to you after this table. And what it tells you is Ukraine and Greece with 2-0. They've got to play each other yet. Oh, yes, they do. Croatia and Italy with, one and, with a one-on-one with one record, but uh, they've got to play each other yet. So it's all to play for. But for now, from Milan, from Mazzini Stewart and Mark Clark, it's good night. Good night.